Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. Today we're gonna to be diving into an unboxing and an in-depth review of this wireless power supply from a company named Bronk. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it together. We're gonna to check out the unit up close. We're gonna take a look at the performance, everything in between, and I will conclude the video by giving you all my final opinions on this wireless power supply right here from a company called Bronk. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below and I'm I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. So where I would like to begin is with showing you all the packaging and then we can get into the unboxing here. And again, links will be in the description below. This is going to be a wireless power supply from a company named Bronk. This is the unit up close here. The front part of the packaging. This right here is the side of the box. This right here is another side. Here is another side right here. And you get the idea. So all around very good packaging, very solid packaging as well. It is hard shell, so you can ensure that your investment will be protected. So let's get into opening the package and let's see what's under the hood here. As you see, all of the graphics are holographic. And that's going to be all the way around. I like when companies pay attention to the packaging details like that as well. So upon opening the hood, this is what we are greeted with. I rarely ever see, you know, a setup like this where the presentation is kind of getting you acquainted with the product off the hand upon opening the box typically it comes with user manuals or none at all so you can see right here these are all of the controls here so feel free to pause and read this on your end at your own pace we're going to go ahead and get into this too as well within this video so it's actually a very straightforward interface as well we have power on and off for a long press and then you press once to start and pause it looks like it has a timer it looks like it has the battery charging meter as well and then the voltage display as well as the voltage reduction and increase right here parameters and it does have a charging indication as well it does say please use 5 volts to a adapter for charging let's take a look at the actual unit here so removing the foam, this is what we are graded with. This is what the actual unit looks like up close for those who are curious. Let's go ahead and take it out the packaging and get a close up look at this product right here. So off the bat, it does feel like a nice solid build. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but it isn't heavy the way that you would expect it to be. It's actually a really light machine with a little, I'm sorry, it's actually a really light unit with a little bit of weight to it. So I think it's gonna get a, uh, it's going to give us a nice balance feel upon tattooing with it, especially if we're using pen style tattoo machines. So let me show you the unit up close here. So you see it's branded with the Bronx logo there. I'm going to show you a full 360 view. And this right here is an RCA connector. I do like the engravings. RCA connector on the bottom here. Here is the top. As you can see, it's really touch sensitive. If you hold it down, it scrolls through. If you press once, it notches through there. Very simple to use, very easy, very straightforward. I'm not applying any pressure at all. I'm simply just putting the heat of my finger on there and it works, as you can see. Show you all. So the highest voltage setting that we do have on this Bronx wireless power supply will be 12. And the lowest that it offers, allow me to show you here, is five so we get a range of five volts to 12 volts which is pretty dynamic and that is essentially everything that i use typically i find myself using eight volts for pretty much everything nowadays so this power supply right here will do justice just fine for me 
very nice and intuitive. I actually like that because when I wrap, sometimes I have issues where I press a button and I don't totally press it all the way because of the saran wrap. So um, touch sensitive is probably a better way to go in terms of workflow to get it to give us an easier workflow. So all in all, this unit at first impression seems like a solid, well-built unit. I have used Bronk power supplies before, and I do have experience with the company Bronk. And every time I've used any of their products, they've always been of good quality. So as of now, first impressions, I'm definitely liking this power supply. I'm eager to test out the performance and see how long I can actually get out of it, and which we will do here in this video as well. And it also comes with a cable here to charge your wireless power supply. And that's everything within the box here. No user manuals or anything like that because it's embedded into the box already right here, which I think is very, very intuitive. Good job on, on the packaging, Bronk. So let's go ahead and dive on into a performance test here. So that way I can go ahead and come back and give you all my final opinions. I'll also show you how I will go about setting up this wireless power supply as well. So let's do a quick little power test here. So this is the Bronk wireless power supply we are reviewing. And I have here a Bronk Hummingbird tattoo machine. And I've also done an in-depth review on this one, so be sure to check that out. I'm going to go ahead and check it out here and see how easy it is to connect and set up. And it is as simple as one, two, three, as you saw there. And I do like how the color is a match here as well. As you can hear, we have a clean working machine here. And I'm not sure if you heard that, there is a jump start there. So, I'm not showing you the wireless power supply pushing a Bronk machine because that's what we are limited to using it with. I just wanted to demonstrate that it does work with Bronk machines. Let me show you a completely different brand machine. This is going to be the Mass Tour Pro, in which I've also done an in-depth review on. And we're also going to check it out. And as you see, it's pushing multiple machines with no problem. So as you can see, this wireless power supply will push any machine that you have, as long as it's an RCA input. And I just wanted to go ahead and reiterate and point that out here as well for you all. Now, for those who are curious on what the interface looks like when it's charging, allow me to show you that here as well, just for those who are genuinely curious. And this is what the interface looks like when it's charging. It has a word charging. As we see, we do have the bolt indicator up there in the right corner flashing. And that is what we are working with right there. So for those who are curious if we can disable and enable the jumpstart feature, unfortunately, we are not able to do so. The jumpstart feature is permanently enabled on the Bronk wireless power supply, so it will be a part of our workflow. For me, this is really neither here or there, nor is it an issue. A jumpstart feature is cool. Sometimes I'll use larger mags that my machine won't push right off the bat. So having a jumpstart feature permanently enabled may be a better way to go. But again, to me, it's really neither here or there. I just wanted to go ahead and let you all know that, that we cannot disable the jumpstart feature or enable it. It's there permanently. Now, wrapping the machine with this sort of wireless power supply is actually going to be super, super simple. So I'm going to start with removing the grip of the machine. And from there, I'm going to approach it as I would any other pen style tattoo machine where I wrap saran wrap around the top part of the machine. So allow me to proceed and do so. And then after this, we can get into the performance and conclude the video here. I can relay some of my final opinions on how I feel about the Bronk R1 wireless power supply. So I'm just simply going to wrap it yet again as I would any other pen style tattoo machine. So basically what I'm saying is that the wrapping pretty much applies these to the same rule of thumb as it would any other power supply we're using. Forgive me there, I'm trying to do two things at once here. So I have a solid barrier around the entire top part of my machine, as you see, all the way down to right here. Then I could simply get the grip, place the grip on like so, and then cover this with saran wrap as well. And this part up here, 
as you see it does turn on and off no issues whatsoever with any sort of voltage fluctuation and or performance here So as you see, I have a grip, I mean a barrier around my grip now, as you see. From here, I could simply get some adhesive wrap, wrap it around the machine, and this is ready to rock and to be tattooed with. As you see though, the process applies to this setup as well. Doesn't matter what wireless power supply we are using, we can pretty much wrap them all the same way. So what I wanted to show though, how easy and intuitive it is to still wrap and create barriers around your machines. Now from here, what I would like to do is get into the performance aspect of this wireless power supply so that way I can come back and give you all my final opinions. Now to test the performance and to demonstrate this wireless power supply here with you all in this video, I'm going to be using the Bronk Hummingbird Tattoo Machine along with the Bronk Wireless Power Supply. It only felt right to go ahead and use this setup. I will leave links for you in the description below so you can check this out on your end. Now should you have any questions, please yet again feel free to drop them down below. Let's go ahead and switch on over to a different angle so we can check out the performance. To conclude this video, let's get into some final opinions and some insight on this Bronk wireless power supply. So from me to you, I'm going to start off with what I don't like about it. I'll make my way to what I do like about it. Now what I don't like about it, and it's actually a very, very, if any, it's actually one thing that comes to mind, is the fact that we cannot disable that jump start. I know that there are some artists out there that would like the ability to disable and enable the jump start feature. So other other than that though, that's the only downfall in my opinion that I personally didn't like about it. Wiping this down for the next session would be a breeze, it's user friendly, it is a powerful power supply. I am able to get about 4 to 6 hours depending on what voltage and machine I am using so that time frame will vary from artist to artist. So just to recap, the only thing that I don't like about it is the inability to turn off and on the jump start feature. However, that is minor. The jump start feature never really bothered me upon working at all. Um, so yeah, so to each their own in terms of that aspect. But what I do like about this wireless power supply is that it seems like it's built like a tank. It has a nice solid build to it. It is RCA compatible, which means I can use it with every single machine that I have. Not only that, the display here gives us a dynamic voltage range from 5 volts to 12 volts and it is a touch screen display which is really really easy to navigate and uh, my workflow is a bit more swifter than having to feel for buttons. I can 
can see everything. Everything responds through the saran wrap just fine. So I have no issues there with performance. It is user friendly. As you can see, the interface only includes three buttons. So all in all, I would definitely give this wireless power supply a thumbs up and a four stars. I would be able to easily give this five stars because of its power. However, that inability to turn on and off the jumpstart feature may you know, um, raise an eyebrow for some or some may not like it, but for me personally, it was neither here or there. Didn't interfere with my workflow in any way, shape or form. But all in all, that is how I feel about this wireless power supply from Bronk. Now, if I didn't touch base on anything specific that you may have wanted to know at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. Rest assured, I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.